What up guys? It is race day. We are at Laguna Seca. I'm gonna go down to the uh, gates, go check in. Um, got the M4. Rachel drove the Macan. And yeah, we just kind of camped out in the Macan last night, so that was cool. We're all ready with the M4 for some uh, time attack. We are at Laguna Seca and I have some problems we are gonna see what happens in the corkscrew with this um, on 30 series tires and the car got a lot lower so uh, may have to raise it after this first session we will kind of see what happens gonna take a turn 8 time attack haven't been here but once in the M4 and it was pretty stock at that time I think I ran like a 141 um, when I first had the car, it was a 141 or a 142, I forget. The uh, car was basically on our triple eight rs and it had brake pads, and that was it, and brake fluid, and it was all stock. At that time, also, the car was like brand new, I had just got it. That was actually my first track day in the M4, so it was, it was really fun. I've been here a few times in the Audi S3, and that was always fun. Rachel's old car, so she's chilling over there with Gander right here. Should be a good time. We have our own time attack session, which is really nice today. I added a bit more aero in the rear of the car today. Um, hopefully, that gives me a little bit more compression in the rear through uh, the high-speed stuff and just kind of gives me all that. Oh, yeah, I am on Nankang CRSs, but they are actually 285 30 R18s, which uh, definitely makes the car quite a bit lower. It was awesome because I did get some takeoffs, so thanks a lot, Spencer. However, I did not realize how much lower the car would be. So, uh, yeah, I've just never ran a 30 series higher on the car. I usually run uh, 35s. Uh, maybe I run 30s, but like a 315 30 or is it 35? I don't know. Anyways, the car's usually a lot higher. Uh, so I got three of those and I got one brand new CRS on the front and I traded for my AO55 slicks because this event you can't run slicks you can't run anything less than a 60 treadwear i want to say kind of had to change that up so overall um should be fun i'm starting out the car with the 25 psi in the front and 26 psi in the rear targeting for about like 32 33 psi and we will uh, see how it goes
quick little update did the first session in the m4 uh it went really well this thing is super low and it uh still has the splitter attached so that was what i was most worried about i ran like a 137.6 or something like that uh anyways should be quicker next session so we'll show that footage next time overall very happy with the car it felt really good and i forgot this track is not bad on tires gander what are you doing what are you doing can you have them verify the number on this do i have to what can you have them verify the number on the tag like i feel like it's not even like i feel like my timing's coming up under someone else's name we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna have to check afterwards okay honestly. that's fine yeah
Well, I was just editing this video and just realized I did not finish this video up at all. Uh, I was kind of annoyed when I finished that time attack session. Uh, if I didn't fully explain it, let me explain it now. Basically what happened is my timer on my car somehow got mixed up with Justin's timer on his car. And for whatever reason, he actually ended up starting in the place that I was supposed to start in. So that was the Lexus RCF. Now, because of that, I actually started in sixth place instead of fourth place. And then I was basically like behind that Porsche uh, 911 Turbo. I think it was like a 991.1 or .2 uh, Turbo, which is a fast car, but I ran a faster lap time than him. And I ran a faster lap time than Justin. So basically, I should have had more of a gap. I wanted to have more of a gap, but I also wanted to pass the Porsche because I didn't want to be held up by him. I was hoping that I wouldn't have caught up to Justin as quickly, but um, unfortunately I kind of did, which is fun. I always like to kind of put pressure on the other driver. I always think that that's a good time. However, this track doesn't really leave for a lot of area to have uh, good passing areas, especially if you're using like all the track, it kind of gets a little bit sketchy. I mean, like you're not gonna wanna pass into corkscrew, that sketch. Uh, turn nine, I might've been able to go on the outside of them on that one because I think I could have carried more speed. But again, it's a time attack thing. It's not for technical place. It's for quickest lap around the track. Um, unfortunately, my car is usually fastest on its first lap out. Um, not only do the tires get hot, but uh, my engine starts to get heat soaked. So anyways, overall, I did not run faster in that time attack session. I think I took home fourth place for the day. Um, I was about a second off from third place from what I know. And yeah, overall, it was a fun day. I ran a PB in the car, so that was cool. Um, like I said, this is the second time that I've been to Laguna Seca in the M4. First time it was pretty stock. Now the car is pretty modified. And I was really happy with the time that I ran. So anyways, off to go back again and try it out again. Um, also throughout the day, I never got a chance to um, really be behind anybody. So like first session, I was out there and I was, I think I was, I was behind people, but I wasn't sure if my car was going to make it around the track, basically. So I kind of held up a little bit with the faster guys going through the corkscrew and just made sure that my car made it through the corkscrew because, well, it was a little sketchy. Um, then after that, I basically pulled in. Uh, second session, I uh, had a fun time, but I actually went out and I was the lead car, which was fun. I had an open track. I did run my fastest time, but there was no one to really pace my time against. And because this track has been repaved, um, I would have really liked to have been behind a faster driver that I could have paced. And I think I could have ran a better lap time. I think I still have at least at least a second, if not two seconds in the car. I was um, over braking in a lot of places, in my opinion, like before the torques corkscrew, I think that I could brake much later and I could go through the corkscrew much faster, especially if the front of the car was a little bit higher. Um, turn nine, I think I could do that one a little bit quicker. Uh, turn 10 was good. Turn one, totally fine, flat out. Turn two was good. Three, I needed a break a little bit earlier, I felt, and kind of go through that turn more on throttle instead of breaking last minute and then getting back on throttle. I think I could have carried more speed. Uh, turn four, felt pretty good. Felt pretty good with speed overall. Turn five, I could definitely take that one. That's up by like the sound booth. I could take that one further. Uh, turn six, I could definitely take faster. Just need to really pace some other cars. Um, Turn seven is basically not a turn. That's just straight, flat out up there. And then turn 8A and 8B is corkscrew. So again, really fun overall. Good track day. Yeah, um, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully it was entertaining. And yeah, can't wait to get out there again. And turn eight event is coming up. Is it the 24th, I think? So that is the fourth event. I didn't run the second event because I didn't have tires. So Anyways, I think we'll be in contention for points. Maybe, maybe for third place. We'll see. I don't know. We got to see how that works out. But thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this. Um, and then, did you like my angry driving on lap two? So, yeah. Later and wrench on.